Another ancient culture thrown into the gumbo pot of the USA is the much misunderstood and even feared belief system of voodoo. We travelled to New Orleans to find out the truth about this dark religion. At Voodoo Authentica, they sell items said to enhance the bearers' lives, from bringing health, wealth and love to dispatching enemies. We spoke to owner Brandy C. Kelly, who's become a voodoo practitioner over time, after hearing both good and bad things about it while growing up in New Orleans. We were in Robeson County, North Carolina, learning about the history and modern plight of the Native American people through the eyes of the Lumbee Indians. We'd learned how historical trauma had led to modern day problems, but we're beginning to see how the relearning of ancient culture might provide identity and strength to lost Lumbee individuals. In this episode, we get high in the mountains and face our darkest fears in a shamanistic healing ceremony fueled by the mind altering powers of a shitload of cannabis. Once upon a time, the city of Detroit was a teeming metropolis of 1.8 million people and had the highest per capita income in the whole United States. The city is now home to a third of that, just 700,000. There's around 80,000 abandoned homes in Detroit and more than half of its adult residents don't have jobs. We were drawn to the city to film the visually striking decay, chasing, like so many other out-of-towners, what the locals disconcertingly call ruined porn. And we expected to find a city where the American dream was in tatters. Colorado is at the forefront of a cannabis revolution. As of 2014, you can walk into a dispensary and buy an ounce of weed as easily as buying a six-pack. We were in Denver to get an insight into the booming new cannabis industry. And what better way to do so than to join a band of merry gunja tourists on what's pretty much a pub crawl for pot. The cultural history of New Orleans is arguably the richest of all American cities. At the middle of this melting pot is music. Explosive live music is not only tolerated but prioritised and valued as an integral part of the people's identity. For well over a century, the rhythm of the brass bands has been the beating heart of the music scene, pumping proudly and loudly in houses, clubs, and as we were about to discover throughout the streets as we stumbled upon a raucous, joyous community street parade. We were exploring the personal side of the medical marijuana debate, speaking with three medicinal users of cannabis. Stephanie uses CBD oil to treat her son Paul's seizures, the same cannabis oil Nancy uses for her various ailments, while Matt used marijuana to treat the debilitating symptoms arising from his cancer and chemotherapy. He told us about life after his eight years on six different types of strong and addictive medications. Like any medication, cannabis can have negative side effects in some users, but for the patients we spoke to, medical marijuana has been a godsend replacing harmful or misprescribed pharmaceuticals and giving them nothing less than a new lease on life. Like many purveyors of ruined porn before us, we came to Detroit to morbidly explore and capture the destruction firsthand. But the longer we spent in the city, the more we were struck by its story. The thing that hit us the hardest was the fact that the city was being taken back by the people. The citizens we met were reclaiming control of their city and hopefully creating a new Detroit and a new American dream.